Okay, we received the new RTX 2070. We're gonna make some tests comparing with the 1080 Ti, the card that we got right here. We had a Core uh, a Ryzen 5, and we're gonna make some tests in four games to see the performance of this card. Let's get into it. Romeo 1, we breached Foxtrot 4. Burnout prepped and ready, over. He's there! Cooked! Thank you. 
So final thoughts about the video. Uh, what video card is better for you? The new 20, 2070 or the 1080 Ti? Well, all depend on the budget or what and what video card you have already. If for example, you have a 1080 and, uh, or 1070 and you wanna make an upgrade, I think the best option for you will be the 1080 Ti because the performance on this card is like 35, 40% better than this one, right? Uh, if you are kind of the person that wanna, get, that wanna have uh, the latest uh, hardware on the market, of course, go with this one, the 2070. Right now is the best option you can get uh, instead of the 2080 or 2080 Ti. Those cars are very expensive. This one is 499. If you buy from EVGA, if you buy directly from Nvidia, it's 599. Uh, this car performs really good with the price uh, that we get right now. And uh, one thing to keep in mind is the ray tracing. Ray tracing, we cannot test it because no games on the market that already support it. Uh, one thing that you can see on the videos on the crisis that we made here uh, when we activate the anti-lacing uh, we lose like 20 frames per second and that thing that kind of thing is the, the all is gonna happen the same when you activate ray tracing we have not tested but as you can see on the demos already every time they activate the ray tracing they're running at 1080p in the 2080 ti and you feels like it's running at 35 maybe 40 frames per second the difference is huge on those big cards, so imagine what's gonna happen on this one here. I think ray tracing technology is just the beginning for that. Better to stay for a while and wait until the next uh, generation of this card and see how this is gonna actually perform. For me, I will go with the 1080 Ti. Price is online of this card right now. You can find it for 550, even 500 on eBay. It's a really good price. You get 11 gigabytes on this one and just eight gigabytes on this one here, which is important for depending on the kind of software that you're using. Okay, it's up to you, like I said before, uh, use your budget as you wish. So let me know if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions of what comparison between different Howard here, and we will do it for you so you can know uh, what to buy and what will be the best option for you. Also remember that you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, as the Maverick Tech, and all the links will be here. And you can check our website, the blogs that we got in there, all the information, all the videos that we made also will be in YouTube and in our website. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you on the next video.